Hey, this is Micah from Epium, and today I'm going to be doing a composite for Leap Year called Leap. Since Leap Year only happens once every four years, we wanted to do something kind of cool, so I decided to put together this composite. So what I'm going to start with by doing is uh, pulling out all of these keys and get these three individual me's uh, separate. Oh, I'm just gonna run through, use some uh, some color blending and some discontinuous uh, brush tool and just pull out all of these keys. You can find information on keying out green screens and some of our other tutorials. Uh, this tutorial is quite long and involved so we didn't want to waste any extra time showing you how to green screen key when we have lots of other tutorials that have that included. So we're going to start by copying and pasting in all of the other versions of me. So we'll start with the right and then the left. And we're just going to kind of position them tentatively. Before we go any further, I'm going to clean up some of the image and remove the button and remove a couple problems with the jeans and remove any blemishes from my face. Instant Zit Remover is awesome. So I'm going to make a new layer, move it up to the top and select the shape tool. And I'm gonna choose a nice blue and basically make a large rectangle. And I'm gonna add a nice stroke to it make a nice outer glow so it looks kind of like a panel and change the fill. And I'm going to make another new layer with the inside of that shape layer selected. And I'm going to drop a bucket and do render difference clouds. I don't like that. Let's do render clouds. I'm going to take that layer and drop the fill on that and change the blending mode to screen. We're going to put the fill quite a ways down. And we're going to make another new layer. And we're going to choose our brush tool. And we're going to grab one of these awesome grid panels called Tech Brush Set version 5 from Z Design. You can find their stuff on DeviantArt. And I'm just gonna go ahead and brush that a couple times in the same area. And I'm gonna transform it and pull it all the way out to the size of the shape. And I'm gonna duplicate that layer and make the duplicated layer blending mode overlay. And I'm gonna duplicate the layer again and change the blending mode to hard light. And then I'm going to go to Filter, Other, High Pass. And change it back to Overlay. I'm going to group all of those layers. Call it Right Panel. I'm going to duplicate the Right Panel. Call it Left Panel. Remove them all down to the Cloud layer. And make a new layer. We're going to choose a different interface, brush it a few times, transform it, I'm going to duplicate, screen, duplicate, filter high pass, that to overlay change the clouds down a little bit more to 5% instead of 7 and we're gonna go back to the right panel and we're gonna choose our shape tool with rounded and make a little box up in the corner copy the settings, 
paste them and fix the outer glow to make it a little bit smaller radius and fix the fill so it's a little bit darker and choose Arial font and we're just going to type out 01 and that's going to be the date on this panel and I group the shape and 01 and call it numbers duplicate it and drop it in the left panel so the left panel and the right panel are very similar I'm going to change the date to 28 for the left panel and I'm going to duplicate it call it center panel and duplicate the original shape layer and drag one to each panel fix the outer glow slightly on the center panel and I'm going to change the center panel number to 29 and then I'm going to make another new layer above the cloud layer and I'm going to use another interface go ahead and brush that out and then duplicate it and screen and duplicate it again high pass Change it to overlay. Transform all the layers. Make them fit within the cloud. Change the opacity of the entire center layer and duplicate it. Add a new layer and merge it. Then take the left panel, duplicate it, add a new layer, and do it for all the rest. So we have just flattened images of each of the panels. Then I'm going to start with the right panel and I'm going to distort it so that it boxes the center me in. And then I'm going to do the same with the left, flip horizontal and distort it. Once it looks good, move it over. Move the layer one center me all the way to the top. distorting and we're going to pull the left me in just a little bit and pull in the right panel just a little bit and fix the distort right me in just a little bit and we're going to take the center panel and we're just going to put it behind me all the way in the back we're going to make a new layer above the background and paint bucket black so we can see what's going on just fix a few things that might need to be realigned. Just going to nudge this panel until it's in a good position. choose the center panel, add a mask, and then I'm going to choose a gradient and use it at the bottom of the panel so it looks like it has fall off. Now I'm going to choose a 
small soft brush. I'm going to choose the right me and I'm just going to go ahead and remove the back part of me and any sort of illumination on my hair and the back side of me and just kind of clean up anything that doesn't look correct. So it looks like I'm falling off into the darkness. Modify feather. Select inverse and just delete it. And I'm going to do the same to the left side. cleaning it up and I'm going to add a mask to the left side and I'm just gonna brush off my jeans a little bit Add one to the center and clean that up. And I'm going to take the center panel and nudge it up a little bit more. And make a new layer and use a hard round, about 48 opacity. And then I'm just going to blot on that new layer, choose a nice blue, outer glow, and make it kind of like a ball, like an energy ball. Once that looks good, I'm going to duplicate it and merge the layers. and add an outer glow to both layers with white. Bump up the size, and we'll hit OK. And we're gonna transform to store, and make it the same perspective as the screens. And we're gonna warp it to make it look really good. Bring down the opacity and nudge it so that it fits with my hand a little bit better. And I'm going to duplicate it. Free transform, flip horizontal, bring it over to the other hand. And nudge it into place. I'm going to choose the right panel. And then I'm going to make a new layer. And I'm going to choose another brush. These brushes are from a set called Best of Technical Brushes 250X by Baystar. You can also find their work on DeviantArt. Now I'm going to choose a different brush and I'm going to kind of turn this into an alien looking circuitry or something. Once we're done, I'm going to call it Grid and I'm going to duplicate it. bring it up to the right me hand and I'm gonna distort it so it looks like like it's a cursor of some sort I'm add an outer glow bring it all the way up to white bring up the size hit OK and I'm going to duplicate it 
drag it to the other hand. And then distort them like they're actually interacting with my hands. Now let's duplicate the layer again and transform, flip horizontal, and we're going to do it to the left side me now and put it on my hands on the left. Then I'm going to take the original grid and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to put it behind the middle me and I'm going to make it huge. select the center panel and just make it a little bit larger and I'm going to go back to the original center panel and I'm going to duplicate that layer and remove the number layer and I'm going to remove the small little box and I'm going to make a new layer and merge the center panel copy with that new layer and I'm going to transform it and put it at the very top and I'm going to zoom out and transform the panel all the way so that it fits the entire top of the image and aligns with the panels on the left and right and then I'm going to do the same with the bottom And now I want to make a new grid and put it on each one of the hands of the middle me. Just to make it look a little bit better. Kind of keep the continuity. And I'm going to take the large grid in the background and I'm going to add a filter blur radial blur and I'm going to add a zoom quality best amount 10 and then I'm gonna add a mask to that layer and get rid of the little extension that's coming out behind my back doesn't look right Fix the bottom grid. And then I'm going to take the original grid and name it Grid Logo. Because eventually I'll add a logo to the middle of this grid. I'm going to choose the right me. And on the layer mask, I'm just going to brush off my legs a little bit more and do the same with the left. Now I'm going to add a new text layer and I'm going to choose Arial. And I'm just going to type Leap. And fit it in so that it's on the grid logo on the corner. And I'm going to scroll all the way to the top and make a new layer and I'm just going to select a pen tool and make an arc and then I'm going to choose brush choose scattering choose pen tool again and then right click on the path and choose stroke path make sure that the tool is brush Simulate pressure and hit OK. So it looks like a nice essence. And I'm going to remove the pen line and fix opacity on some of these. And I'm going to start from the bottom all the way to the top. And I'm going to group them all together. And I'm going to call this final. And I noticed I made a mistake. 
that I need to fix real quick. Uh, if you notice, the number one is not flipped the right way. So I'm going to take the right panel, I'm going to duplicate it, and then I'm going to take the number, move it outside of the group, and make a new layer, drag that outside of the right panel copy as well, and I'm going to merge the right panel copy with that new layer, and take the 01, transform it, and flip horizontal, and then I'm going to merge those layers, and then I'm going to take the marquee tool and I'm going to select parts of this panel, and I'm going to transform horizontal, flip them, so that it makes them look like they're all on the correct side of the panel. It's just a small detail. So flip all of them around. And I'm going to take that right panel and put it all the way at the top. And I'm going to open up the group final and bring it down by the other right panel. And then I'm going to transform, distort it, and line it up with the old right panel and get it as close as I possibly can. And then I'm going to scroll back up to the center me layer, layer one, and I noticed a couple little mess ups when I pulled the key, so I'm just going to clean that up using the mask, make sure to turn off scattering of the brush. And at the bottom of the image it looks like the bottom panel is coming through my legs, it looks kind of weird. So I'm just going to transform it and pull it out just a little bit. And clean up any little masks that might look strange. And as the image was almost done, I was noticing that the blue stroke around the panels was really starting to bother me. I didn't really match the photos, so we're going to select those and select inverse and then hit a mask and we'll automatically mask that out. And then I'm going to grab the eraser tool with opacity 30 and just brush it out very slightly. And that's it. And this is the final image. As you can see, the logo is in the original grid down on the bottom right. We used lots of different elements for this. Uh, everything was created from scratch, uh, which is a cool way to do composites. This photo is part of our Project 366 for March 29th, leap year 2012. And you can find this photo on Flickr. Username is Epium. Make sure you favorite the photo, it's much appreciated. And please make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube. Check out our previous tutorial and our previous video. And we always appreciate you guys checking out our stuff and make sure you give us a thumbs up. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye.